Hi guys, it's Angelia. How's everybody doing? Yay, it's Vlogmas Day 1, guys. <laughs> I am so excited, let me tell you. I feel like a kid in a candy store. That, and plus I had some uh, coffee a while ago, and for the first time in a good while, I had caffeine in it. <laughs> so, uh, I feel like I got lots of energy right now, but also I feel so much better. I am so, so excited about doing Vlogmas this year, because I have the energy. <laughs> And I've got all these things inside my head I'm wanting to make to show you guys, but I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, I want to get up here and hang out with y'all by the Christmas tree. I apologize for the lighting because um, it's probably not going to be very good. It's probably, I don't know if you can see my kitty cat in the window. But uh, I had to come in, well, I had to do it inside because it rained all day yesterday. And it rained last night. And it's a, it's a little, not too bad cold out there. I mean, it's not really cold, but it's windy. And, um, so I thought, well, instead of me dragging all my stuff out there, cause I got some things I'm wanting to show you and some of them, you know, my, uh, Christmas blanket, I didn't want it to get on the ground cause it's wet. <laughs> so anyway, the lighting's not going to be very good in here. So I apologize for that. But anyway, I thought I'd come up here and hang with you around the Christmas tree on the floor here with old, uh, Mr. Frosty and Mr. Santa. <laughs> and I actually have a couple of my gingerbread. Aren't these the cutest? <laughs> Now, this is a, a pattern by uh, Olive of Stringy Ding Ding, and she's got the cutest patterns. She does. I, I absolutely love her patterns. And so, this is Mrs. Gingerbread, and here's Mr. <laughs> and I made these last year, I believe. And I actually need to fix her bow. It, I didn't do a very good job sewing it on. I think I even said that last year, and I didn't ever did get around to fixing it. But anyway, these were a lot of fun to make. So, I've got these down here on the floor hanging out. and. As you can tell, my tree's kind of bare, but I mentioned before that I wanted to start all over again. Kind of thought it'd be fun to do it every year. That way, someday, if my grands want my uh, crochet ornaments, I will have plenty to go around for everybody. <laughs> so I thought about I would every year start over and try to make an ornament every day up to uh, the Christmas day. So that's what my goal is. And so what I need to do since I'm wanting to do that, and this might be, this might be my first year, I'll start that, that's going to be a new tradition, I just, you know, basically, I just kind of started, thought of that, <laughs> so I'm going to start that tradition this year, I'm going to do it, I'm going to get me a little tote, and every ornament that I make, hopefully, every, Lord willing, every day, I'm going to make one for every day up to Christmas, and then I will put it in a tote, and then someday, each one of my grandkids will get that tote with those Christmas ornaments that idea <laughs> so I gotta get with it Donna <laughs> but anyway so uh, I don't even know what all I've already said because I've started this video over what two times three times maybe because I thought maybe my light would be better and all that but anyway you know, you'll have to you'll have to bear with me guys <laughs> but anyway I'm so excited guys it is day one of vlogmas of December I can't believe how this year is going by so fast way too fast but man am I excited I've got so many projects I'm wanting to make and and I was uh, talking with my friend Ashley <laughs> that's something else I'm excited about guys I'll tell you here I'm going to save that part to the very end uh, I was telling my friend Ashley that I can keep going and going and going with Christmas things to make because there's not enough time not enough hours in the day and there's not enough days <laughs> And so I told her, I said, I've been known to keep my Christmas tree up until April. So you know what? I might just do that this year because I love the lights anyway. They're my favorite. These old fashioned, can you see them on there? The old fashioned Christmas lights. Uh, growing up as a kid, that's what we had on ours. Ours were, gla were glass. And I don't even know if they still make the glass ones. But these are LED. And I know back then they, did, they weren't LED. <laughs> and we always had a real tree. So we had to be very careful about making sure that live tree, you know, didn't get dried out with them regular lights on there. <laughs> That's a good way to catch it on fire. <laughs> but we did have those old-fashioned lights, and I loved that so much. Oh, I, I, there was one picture that just keeps coming back to me, and it wasn't a colored picture. It was a black and white, and I, I'd give anything to have that picture, but it was an old, it was our Christmas tree. And I remember it had icicles hanging all over it, and it had these old, fashion bulbs and I remember we had paper ornaments hanging on them that we had made from school 
and in that picture those kids weren't in front of it it was it was a picture that evidently my mom had taken you know that the night before maybe or something with everything around it and it was oh yeah i'd give anything for that picture i, I don't know whatever happened to it but anyway yeah so i'm gonna start off making some new ornaments i'm excited <laughs> but anyway i'm super excited uh, i got my roly-poly santa back there he's he's been um with us what for a year or two i think maybe i don't remember i, I know i've showed him in one of my videos but i got him at an antique store and so i don't know what year he's from he might be from like the 50s i think he's a little dingy <laughs> bless his heart <laughs> i wish i could get that you know wider but it's okay he's vintage that, that's the uh art of it but anyway i think he's so cute he's got a little vinyl uh, face and i got that at one of my favorite antique stores but i just love him and he sits perfect right there and then i have my uh ceramic boot it has no candy canes in it right now um <laughs> uh, my mom used to do ceramics and that's what this reminds me of it because she had the mold to this right here and i when i seen this at the antique store i grabbed this right up but i wished whoever made it would have put their initials on the bottom and the year but anyway, I just thought it was the cutest thing. So I love this. Brings back so many memories. But anyway, that's who we have hanging out with us today. But I'm so excited to show you guys what I've uh, got made. And like I said, I don't even know what I've already talked about. I don't even I don't even know if I even showed you my sweater. And look, I still got the tag on it, guys. <laughs> I think I showed this. Was it last year or the year before? I call it my mini pearl. Because I love the ugly crochet. Or ugly crochet. <laughs> That goes to show you I'm wanting to make me an ugly crochet sweater. Yep. <laughs> These ugly sweat Christmas sweater. That's what I'm wanting to make. An ugly Christmas uh, crochet sweater. And so I bought this one at Walmart. When they first came out, they were like $25. And I thought, I ain't paying $25 for that sweater. And so I thought, I'm going to wait. And hopefully they'll have it after Christmas on clearance. And sure enough, when I went in there one day, they had it on clearance. They had it marked down once, and then I, the last time I went back in, they had it on clearance again, and look what I paid for that. I don't know if you can see it or not. Well, you probably can't unless I get right up there. A whole dollar, guys. And I <laughs> I couldn't believe it. So, of course, I had to get it. But look at it. Look at all those. <laughs> and look at the peppermint. It's got the rhinestones on it, and it's got the elf that says, treat yourself. And so, <laughs> but I left that price on there. Cause I thought, you know, who knows, you know, I just want to be a mini pearl. Maybe someday, um, I wish I could get one every day up to Christmas, you know, 25 of them. And then maybe someday my grands, if they have any ugly Christmas sweater parties or anything like that, when they get older, they can have one. <laughs> so I'm just going to leave the tag on it. Why not? But you know what? When I went to Walmart the other day, they have some there and there's one that I want, but it's like, it was like $18, so it's actually cheaper than what this one was originally. And so I thought, man, I really want that sweater so bad. It's got a cat on the front of it. You, I don't know if you guys have seen it, and if you haven't, I don't know if every Walmart's the same, but if you have a Walmart, go in there and look at it. There's two of them with kitty cats on it, and I want one so bad. <laughs> I'm either going to hold out till after Christmas to see if they put them on clearance, or I'm going to go ahead and just grab me one. <laughs> But I want one so bad. But anyhow, that is my ugly Christmas sweater there that I don't think is so ugly. <laughs> and what I thought was funny, you see all these rhinestones on it? There's different colored ones. Well, they only give you one to replace if you lose them. <laughs> I thought, why not give you? They gave me a red one. Why not uh, give me one of each color in there, you know? <laughs> Especially if you're going to pay $25 for it. <laughs> but anyway, I guess I'm going to get started talking about my projects I got. I got a few here. And then at the end, I'm going to show you guys what me and my friend Ashley are going to be doing. So excited about it. I feel like the kid in the candy store. <laughs> you have to forgive me, okay? I don't know if it's the coffee with all the caffeine. No, no. Yeah, it could be part of it. But um, I think it's just because I feel so much better. And I am ready to go at it with this Christmas stuff. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Okay, so the first one. I got notes right here, guys. This first one, I've made a couple of these, but 
I wanted to make something that would be a little bit smaller to fit around my tree. Now, the, the tree I had before was like more of a round one, but my friend Ann sent me a picture, was it last year or the year before? I can't remember, of all these gorgeous ornaments that she has made, you know, out of crochet. And it was a pencil tree. And I thought, man, I love that tree. And so she told me what it was. And and I thought, man, I, I'm going to go see if our Walmart has one. And sure enough, they had one. And so I ended up getting me one. And I love this tree. Now, I would love to have me another one too. But I'd like to have me one a little bit more full. But I, actually, I would love to have a real live tree in here. But I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't know if I could do it or not. Um, I don't know if it would drip all the sap out on the floor and I have to contend to that because I know back in the day whenever we had one growing up, it would all the sap would come out and it'd kind of be messy and stuff, but I don't know. I, I sure do. Lo I love the smell of a real tree though. I do. I miss it. But anyhow, but I like to get me another one and, and uh, decorate it too and actually put one in my bedroom. <laughs> now this one goes in my bedroom after, you know, Christmas. Because I have to leave my door shut, you know, because I've mentioned before I got a CPAP machine and I can't let my kitty cats in there because of the hair and stuff. But uh, I thought about getting me another one and just putting it in there and having one in there during Christmas time that I can actually turn the lights on and just leave them on all the time in there. <laughs> but anyway, because, you know, I'm making that Christmas. Uh, I said it was an afghan, but guys, I turned it into a blanket. But anyway, I'll show you the progress on that here in a minute. But anyway, I wanted to make something to put under this tree, and it, since it's smaller, and so I was talking to my daughter about it, and she mentioned a uh, what kind I should do, what how I should do it, and I never even heard of it before. Can you believe that? <laughs> and so I thought, okay, I'm gonna Google it. So I got up there and uh, I googled uh, vintage. I think it was vintage, crochet, pom-pom, uh, Christmas tree skirt. <laughs> and there was one that popped up, and it was one that Sarah Zimmerman had made. And I thought, well, how did I not ever see this? So she made one with pom-poms. And so that's exactly what I did. Now, this, now the one I made is not her pattern. I actually went and got the pattern that Jada in Stitches used for a tree skirt that she came out with. I don't even remember how many. It's been a couple of years ago, I believe. And I wanted to make it, but I never got around to it because that one, you can make it as big as you want. And I actually wanted one like that, to write, you know, where it wouldn't be too big, which you probably can do that with any uh, pattern. But I needed it to be smaller to go up under this tree. And so this is what I came up with. <laughs> I made me a tree skirt with pom-poms, guys. <laughs> and this was so much fun. And I love this so much. And it worked up really fast. And my daughter, I asked her, I said, what color should I make? Because me, you know, how I love Scrappy. My thoughts was, I thought, I'm going to do the, the traditional colors. I'm going to do the red, white, and green. Well, I ended up not doing it because I, my daughter said, why don't you just do solid white? And then go back and do red and green pom-poms. And I just, I absolutely loved it. And so, like I said, this is a pattern by Jada and Stitches. And it's called the 12-point Christmas tree skirt crochet pattern and tutorial. Now, and I used a 6 millimeter hook whenever I made this. Now, I don't know if she's got this one free on her blog. But I do know she has a tutorial. And she also has a PDF download over in her Etsy shop if you guys are interested in making you one. And like I said, it was so fun to make. But look at that. Isn't that cute? <laughs> now, what I did for the pom-poms, I do have a pom-pom maker, but it's like a large one. And I didn't want my pom-poms to be like gigantic because, I mean, they come out like they're pretty big. <laughs> And so I just did the old-fashioned way. I just took my hand and I just took my yarn and wrapped it around my hand like I think about a hundred times. And then I would tie it off. And uh, that was kind of hard to do by yourself. <laughs> Sometimes hubby would help me if he happened to be in the house. But anyway, I would just tie it off. And then at the very point, see if I can show you here, I just took it and looped it in that big old point right there and just tied it into a bow because... 
I know what's going to happen. Being that I have kitty cats, they're going to want to play with this. And if they mess up the pom-pom, who cares? I can just untie it and just make me another one. No big deal. And so I just think they're so pretty. And, and to me, they look more vintage like this than they do with the pom-pom maker, you know? Because back in those days, they didn't. I don't think they had pom-pom makers. <laughs> they just wrapped it around their fingers or around probably a cardboard or whatever. And they came out, you know, shaggy like this. And I think it looks pretty. So now all I got to do is just untie one and then make me one and just put it on there. But isn't it pretty? I just love this. So I'm so excited that my daughter told me to do this. And I'm so excited that Jada had a pattern. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love this. So I can't wait. I did have it under there for a little while. But I took it out because I was so afraid my cats would you know, do something to it before I had a chance to show you because it's white, you know. <laughs> and I wanted to show you first before they done something to it because they have claws. <laughs> but, you know, if they clawed it, you really couldn't tell it probably. Oh, well. It gives it art. <laughs> but I'm going to put it under there and then I'm going to try to take a picture of it and insert the picture at the end of the video to show you guys what it looks like. And uh, so, yeah, that's going to be so fun. I can't wait to get it under there. So pretty. And that's a cool thing, too, I might start doing. I might start making me a new Christmas skirt every year to make enough for each one of my grandkids. Yep, I think I'll do that. And I have seven grandkids, so I got I got six more to make. <laughs> I'll do that, too. I like doing these, starting these new traditions. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Okay, now... And I think I mentioned I used a 6 millimeter hook on that. And I'll have all the links listed down below in the description box. Now, what's the next thing I want to show you? Okay, now, this next one, I might as well go ahead and, and show you this. Because the next, um, well, this next one is a Jade in Stitches pattern, too. I'm so excited about this. When she came out with this, I was like, yes. <laughs> you guys know how I love my vintage. Anything that's vintage that looks like you know, something vintage from back in the day. I am all about it. I am all over it. Yes. And so as soon as I seen this, I was like, oh my goodness. Yes. So she came out with this. I don't even know, a couple of weeks ago, maybe, maybe not, maybe a week ago. I don't remember. But as soon as she done it, I went, yep, I got to make it. And I've already made, I've made a bunch of these already. <laughs> but I had to make one for my tree to hang on there. Isn't that the cutest? This is a pattern called the Gingerbread Candy Man, uh, Gingerbread Man Candy Cane Nostalgic Christmas. And it definitely is. Look at that. I love this so much. And it looks vintage to me. And Jada, if you're watching, you couldn't have done a better job on that right there. <laughs> and I've been watching her lives when she, she came out with a reindeer. And I hope she comes out with some more because some people were talking about... Uh, a Mrs. Claus and maybe a Mr. Claus and a and a doll and an angel and I sure hope I hope I hope she does. <laughs> I'm all excited about because I want to make that reindeer. And she does have another one. <laughs> but I'm gonna wait and show you that one probably tomorrow. <laughs> but anyway, when she was making these and was doing that one on the live, I was I was so excited. But isn't that cute? And this was so easy and so fast to make. But look, you can just do the uh French knot eyes there, or you can use safety eyes if you want to, but I wanted to do the French knots, and then I gave them a little small, smile, and then I went back, and I actually hand-stitched the uh, buttons on. Normally, I just use hot glue, <laughs> and so I went ahead, and I uh, stitched on the uh, buttons, and I did red and green, and then I did the uh, top stitching on the uh, dress there, and you know, I've done top stitching before, but I went about it the hard way. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> But when Jada showed you how to do this, I thought, well, that was super easy. And so now I'm excited about maybe making another one of those Christmas light blankets. And because you do top stitching on that. And so, yeah. But this was so easy. Look how you just don't stitch it all the way shut. And then you just take your candy cane. These are some plastic ones that I picked up a couple of years ago. And I cannot find these anywhere. If you guys... If any of you guys know where I can find some of these plastic candy canes, our Walmart does not have them. I don't know if a Dollar Tree doesn't have them. At least mine don't. But I don't know if a Dollar General or a Family Dollar would have them. 
maybe Hobby Lobby, but I'm not sure. But if you guys know, uh, tell me down in the comment section. But that's how you do it. You just slide it right in that open. And just, and there's these little arms, these little legs. <laughs> I just love this. Now, the yarn that I used is some Hobby Lobby yarn. I think it's called terracotta color. And I thought it made the perfect color for, for the gingerbread. And then I, that's just probably mainstay white. And then just went in there and just did some whip stitching on the eyes. And yeah, so easy. And it's a worsted weight, uh, medium weight four yarn. But so much fun. And then added a little ribbon up at the top. So I just love this so much. So, so sweet. But anyway, that's my first ornament to hang on the tree. And like I said, I've already made a whole bunch of these. So, <laughs> we're going to hang. Hang him right. Can you see him? We're going to hang him right there. I'm sure I'll move him around a little bit. You know what's funny about this tree? Every morning I come in here, my cats have been messing with this tree at night because the branches are always pushed down. Yeah. <laughs> they're excited about the tree, too. They're trying to get in. It's what they're trying to do. <laughs> but anyway, I'll have a link down below where you guys can go check out that tutorial or the pattern if you guys want to make you one, too. So, and it's like you saw, you make two of these and you sew them together. I forgot to mention that. So there's the back. So easy. And it worked up really quick. So if you need a quick one, that right there is a quick one. Okay, now what's the next one I want to show you? Okay, this next one, I thought, I've had this one made, I almost want to say two months. <laughs> but I'm not 100% sure. I know a month for sure. But this is a pattern by, let me see if I can find it here. Um, Ophelia Talks. Now, this is the very first uh, pattern I've ever made of one of hers. And whenever I... Um, when she came out with it, I thought, oh, that is so pretty. And then, you guys know how I love Scrappy. First thing I thought of, Christmas. <laughs> now, I'm not going to be able to show you the whole thing, me wearing it in here, because I'm, I'm not going to be able to stand up to show you. But if I can get my hubby to take a picture of me wearing it, which I'm sure he will. I don't know why I said that. I'll have him take a picture of me wearing it, and then I'll add it at the end of the video. And I, with me saying all this, I hope my phone's got enough room to put all this on here. And I better get to talking faster, because my phone might run out of room. But this is called the Reading Shawl Crochet Tutorial. And I used a 5 millimeter hook. And I just thought this was the prettiest shawl. And it is, and it's so, it's so, I love it. Let's just say I love it. Because it is. <laughs> I did it in all the red and green and white. And then I did it in that Red Heart Super Saver. That, um, oh, that one they just came out with this year, guys. What's it called? That red speckled one. And then this is the Red Heart Mistletoe that I can't find at our Walmart anymore. Oh, you can go to a Walmart pretty good ways. Not real bad, far away from here, but they want, like, it's the littler skeins, and it's like almost $4 for that little bitty skein. I remember when they had the great big skeins, you know, the, how many yards is that? Almost 800 yards. And I remember I hit the jackpot on it. I got them for like 75 cents a piece, and then they quit carrying it at our Walmart. So, but anyway, but I just love this so much. And it's got the blue in there. This is, uh, this is that mainstay blue that's got the sparkles in it. But look at the stitch in that. Oh, it's so pretty, and it worked up really fast. I, I couldn't put it down. It was so addic addicting to make, addictive to make, yeah. It was so pretty. And then down here at the end, you just alternate the rows. But it is, it is, it's big, and it is warm, and I love it. So I'm going to be wearing this now. But super easy pattern. But you guys know how I love, um, scrappy and this is also now this is red heart super saver oh the metallic white and i just love the pattern how it worked up in that isn't that pretty oh i love that and the green is mainstay green 
and then I think that was it. And she does have a paid for uh, PDF download pattern if you want that instead of using, you know, like the uh, tutorial. I'm going to put it on. And it's big and it's heavy too and that's what I love about it. And I cannot wait to sit in my recliner and wear this. It's like a blanket. That's how nice it is. That's how big it is. <laughs> I made it big. She tells you how, you know, how big and everything. But I made mine bigger than she made hers. I mean, it's way past my hand, you know, when I stand up past my wingspan, I guess you call it. And it hangs down low because I wanted it to be like a blanket. That way, whenever I'm outside doing my, my videos, and if it happens to be a little chilly, then I'll have this on. <laughs> but from what I understand, we're supposed to have a mild winter here where I'm at in Arkansas. So, anyway. Alright, now, the next thing I want, and I'll have that link down below in the description box. Now, this next thing, let me see if that's it. Oh, no. Yeah, I gotta show my uh, scrappy uh, Christmas blanket. Let me get it. <laughs> I have it uh, resting in my uh, Walmart. <laughs> and no, I'm not sponsored by Walmart or any of the other uh, stores I've mentioned. <laughs> but this is, I use this for a project bag. Why not? It's one of my friends up here was talking how they use a, uh, can't remember what all the different bags that they use for all their projects and stuff. But you know, I mean, why not? I use regular old Walmart bags. <laughs> I do, I do. I do need to make me some Christmas bags, though. I've got the material. My friend Ann's gave me some fabric and all that, but I kept thinking, I'm going to save that for a quilt, and I just never gotten around to it yet. But anyway, my Christmas blanket. Guys, it is turning out so pretty, and I have worked on this. Now, I haven't worked on it in the last maybe three nights because I wanted to get all some of this other stuff done because it seems like I'm wanting to work on big projects and not things that are real quick. <laughs> But I took y'all's advice because you guys said that if it was you, you would put it on your bed. And you know what? That's exactly what I'm going to do because I got to thinking, if I'm going to go to the trouble, and it ain't no trouble, but if I'm going to go to all this work and make me a great big old blanket because it was intended for my couch and I added way too many stitches because my couch ain't big enough, I'm going to put this on my bed. And that's what you guys were saying. And so that's exactly what I'm going to do. And I actually, and also I actually talk my hubby <laughs> which it wasn't too hard i had talked him into making me a big old cabinet i'd like to have it go all the way to the ceiling but i don't think it will i'll leave a little room <laughs> but i want to i want to pack it full of uh, crochet blankets and what i'm planning on doing is being that i've already i've got a corner to corner scrappy one that will fit perfect on my bed i need to show that to you guys it is it's huge and then I've got that rectangle one that I'm making with all the fall colors. And then I've got this one that I'm making with the Christmas colors in it. And then I definitely want to make one for like winter, maybe spring and summer. You know, all the different seasons. And yeah, different, you know, make a Halloween one and everything. And so I talked him into making me a cabinet. That way I can make great big ones to put on the bed and then just change them out. And that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> So he's got to still go get the material to make this cabinet for me. And I'm excited. I can't wait. I, I actually asked him, I think it was last night, when are you going to get that, when are you going to go get the material to make that cabinet for me? I am. <laughs> I can't wait to show you guys. So here's my blanket. I'm going to take off my shawl real quick. Okay, guys, this turned out so pretty. And I love this so, so much. Now, I was going to put a stitch marker but I do remember where I was at. I got it folded in two right now. <laughs> yeah. Here comes hubby. Hold on. Hold on a second. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Now, before I get to talking, if my video ends just all of a sudden, I will put another video up right after this to continue. <laughs> in case I run out of time on my phone because it's already 30 minutes. I didn't mean to make it that long, but I got a lot to say. <laughs> I'm just excited. But anyway, if it does, I will do another video. So if it ends uh, just like that. <laughs> but anyway, hubby's in here. So he He's in the other room if you hear uh, noises in the background. <laughs> Back to the blanket. 
So I took y'all's advice and I'm going to put it on my bed and I can't wait to get it done to do that. So, all right. The last time I showed this, I was right here. And so I've added this much more to it. And I know it probably don't seem like it a lot, but it's like, I got it folded in two right now. <laughs> so this is a big blanket. It is. It's going, and like I said, it goes right across to my bed. I think my bed's a queen. And it goes all the way and hangs over on both sides. So, I love this so much. And I love how the pattern has worked up. Now, the colors that I used in it is the same as what that shawl is that I just showed y'all. And so, I just think it's beautiful. And I love this so much. Now, this is a pattern I was actually going to see if my dogs are going to start. Hold on a second. Okay, I had to pause that because my dog started uh, making all kinds of noise. And I didn't think you guys wanted to hear all that. But anyway, this is a pattern by Jada and Stitches. And it's called the uh, Crochet Chevron Ripple Zigzag Wave Blanket. And I used to, I think it was a five millimeter. Guys, I need to start writing my hooks down because I'm kind of losing track. <laughs> I'm real bad about not writing it down. And then I think, oh, I'll go back to my video and see what I said. Well, then I never do. But anyhow, I think it's turning out so pretty. And I love how that just stitches up like that, that pattern. But I do. I love this so much. And I can't wait to put it on the bed. Oh, my. It's going to take me a while. But you know what? I love working on this, too. But I've also... Um, got me another pattern, another blanket going. <laughs> it's the one that I'm going to put on my couch, and I can't wait to show y'all. I'm, I'm almost finished with it, and uh, and then I'll be able to show you guys and then put it on the back of the couch, and hopefully the, hopefully the kitty cats won't snag it, but if they do, they do. It'll just give it some character, <laughs> but anyway, I'll put a link down below if you'd like to make you a uh, chevron blanket but anyway thank you guys for encouraging me to put it on my bed because yeah I think I probably would have been sad if I'd have put it on my couch and it would have got uh messed up <laughs> it is it's so pretty <laughs> I love it okay now this next thing that I want to talk to you guys about hold on let me see let me get let me get my stuff here together okay sorry for all the pauses <laughs> hubby was wanting to ask me something Okay, now this next thing I want to talk to you guys about. I am so excited about it. Oh, my. Me and Ashley. Hi, Ashley. From Stitching Ain't Easy are doing our scrappy. Well, I call it scrappy. Um, surprise. <laughs> Could be scrappy. Who knows? <laughs> our uh, surprise um, blankets that we do for the last, what, three years. As she, Me and her have been talking, and she mentioned it's been three years. And it has. I can't believe that. It just seems like it's been, seems like it's been just the other day when we started doing this. But it's been, this is the third year. And I've had so much fun doing it. The first year, I did a, uh, I think I did a blanket and a shawl. But I'm not 100% sure. I do remember the shawl. And I do know that I made a blanket last year. And it's the one with the, the Christmas trees in it. It has all the, the uh, scrappy thing in it. And, oh, colors and everything. And I had so much fun making that. And um, I was racking my brain on what I can do for this year. And I just thought about it and thought about it. And I thought, you know, I'm going to be different this year. <laughs> I'm going to go all out and just be totally different. And uh, But it is so fun. And, and what it is, because I know I've got some new friends up here. Uh, me and my hubby over here in this part of the world. <laughs> and Ashley and her family over there, which... We're just neighbors, state-wise. <laughs> I wish she was my neighbor. I wish she lived right next to me. Uh, her and her family do this together. And it is so much fun because we keep each other company. And it is. It's a lot of fun. And her family, they go and they pick out like a scrappy color of a yarn or some sort. And they, you know, however, I normally they put it in a bag and it's a surprise to her and to, to you guys whenever you watch what color they put in the bag for her to put in a gorgeous blanket. And so that's the way we do it here. I asked Hubby if he'll go into my craft room and pick out a scrap ball or a, you know, brand new skinny yarn. I don't care if it's whatever it is. And uh, 
pick it out and put it in a project bag, which I have my project bag right here. Now, my project bags are probably going to change throughout the videos <laughs> because there are some skeins in there. And I told him, I said, if you pick out something with skeins, uh, put it in that great big bag because it ain't going to fit in these lower bags. And he's like, well, then you would know. I said, I do not have my yarn memorized. <laughs> I said, I ain't going to know because there's two totes in there and they're both packed full. I ain't going to know. <laughs> Silly guy. So anyway, um, he goes in there and picks out a scrap ball. In this case, there's going to be two of them. And then it's a surprise to me and to you guys. And then I put it into the project we're going to be doing. Well, this year I wanted to do something totally different. And I've always wanted to make this. There goes my rooster. But I never have gotten around to it because I always, I never think about it until December. And then by then it's, you know, too late really so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna i'm gonna do it this way and then maybe next year i'll have me one i'll tell you what it is in a minute <laughs> so anyway what i decided to do is i always wanted to make me an ugly christmas sweater <laughs> you know and so uh, being that it's already december and i got around to it late again i just thought you know what why not make an ugly christmas sweater granny square blanket <laughs> and it just clicked and I thought oh, I'm gonna do that I think that would be so fun and then I've got to think well how am I gonna do this and so I kind of thought about it and then it just dawned on me I thought well you know a Christmas sweater's got all these different designs on it done up you know to make it look I call it cute ugly or ugly cute whatever and so that's exactly what I'm gonna do so I sat down and I wrote a bunch of appliques that I thought would look super cute on granny squares. Now what I'm going to do, being that hubby goes and he picks out the yarn, and I don't have a clue what color it is, and uh, I thought I'm going to take a piece of paper and write down all the appliques, and I, to be honest with you, I don't even know how many I've got in here, and I kind of almost can remember what all I put in here, the names, but <laughs> um, I don't remember how many total, so but there is a bunch in here, and there might be some repeats is what I'm thinking, because I don't think I got exactly 25, but I put them on a piece of paper, and I just stuck them in this little Christmas cup. I bought my grands a bunch of these little Christmas cups a couple years ago, and I just folded it up and stuck it in here, and so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take one, stir it up, and take one and pull it out, and then whatever that applique is, is what's going to be the next square. Now, the other twist to it, because <laughs> you know it's got to be ugly. <laughs> okay, let me find my other cup. The other twist to it is, let me see if I can get this right. Whatever the applique is, whichever one of these, because there's two pieces of paper in here, and it, one of them says uh, solid, and the other one says variegated. And whichever one I pull out, that's what I'm going to do the applique in. For instance, if I pull one out, it says, um, oh, a Santa, and I pull out variegated, then whatever, if it's a Santa's hat, which I know that's what's in this cup, I'm going to do his hat in the variegated yarn, <laughs> and then the rest of them will be done just like a Santa Claus. That's what I'm planning on doing. <laughs> so I've got a third cup here. That's where I'm going to put my pieces of paper of the ones I've already done and that way I won't get all mixed up until I have to start all over again. So I bet I've got actually three cups here. <laughs> so the first square I've already done it and I'm so excited to show you guys and then it turned I think it turned out cute <laughs> but I had to have an example and this is our very first square and hubby did go in and he picked out the colors for me and so I stood in there in the kitchen and I pulled them out and did the the cup the way I, you know, the variegated or the solid. And the first color I pulled out, or the first uh, piece of paper I pulled out on what we were going to make was a Christmas tree. <laughs> oh, I had so much fun making this, guys. I mean, I probably had too much fun, to be honest. <laughs> but it was a Christmas tree applique. So then whenever I pulled out the yarn, or I pulled out the other piece of paper. I'll get it right in a minute. The Christmas tree was done in the variegated. 
And so I had so much fun making this. And so the other thing that I'm going to do is I've got all these buttons and, you know, I've got sequins and I actually picked up some of this uh, eyelash yarn the other day at the Dollar Tree. And then what else do I have? Like pom-poms. And I don't think, I, I thought I had some rickrack. I don't really want to go out and buy stuff, even though I did buy that eyelash yarn. But, uh, you know, just doll it up. <laughs> Put some extras on there. But that's what I'm wanting to do. I'm wanting to make an ugly Christmas sweater, granny square uh, blanket. But isn't that sweet? I just love that so much. And I can't wait to get started. Now, the pattern that I used is Jada and Stitches. Now, this is her... Okay, I know I wrote this down, did I not? No, I didn't. This is her solid granny square. I think I did uh, put it, it'll be down below in the description box. You know, no matter how long I've, I've been crocheting for what, seven years maybe? Going on eight maybe? I don't know. I still forget how to make things. <laughs> so I went back and I found her tutorial on how to make a solid granny square. Super easy. So that's what I did. And I think I used a five millimeter hook. Yep. And so... And you can make it as big as you want, the square. And so, I forgot to actually measure it to see how big it is. So, I made this one. And then I went back and I remember she has a, now I did write this down. She has a granny shell stitch, Christmas tree, Christmas uh, crochet pattern. And that's her pattern too. And so, I used both of them. And then, now with hers, when you make her Christmas tree, it's all solid. You even the trunk is like a solid, I don't even think, yeah, I don't even think it's all one piece is what I'm trying to say. You don't sew the trunk on, I'm pretty sure. But I wanted my trunk to be green. And so I just did that. <laughs> and then I, I did hot glue. I hot glued my buttons on. I did sew the tree on. But, you know, it's just going to be one of those blankets that's just going to be a conversation piece. <laughs> Because I am going to use safety eyes and stuff like that. Just a blanket you can hang out somewhere. If some, when somebody sees it, they can go, wow. <laughs> that blanket's interesting. <laughs> you know, like your old, like your sweaters, your ugly uh, Christmas sweaters. And I'm sure my grands will look back at this someday and probably think, wow. <laughs> what, was, what was my grandma thinking? <laughs> that don't look like a traditional uh, Christmas blanket, but. You know what? I, I want to try to make each one of them one. That way they can all each have one. <laughs> but anyway, I just thought that'd be so fun. But that's what my first square is. Now, let's see what colors we have. Now, I did use, what did I, did I say I used a five millimeter hook? Yes. And on the Christmas tree was a four and a half millimeter hook. But I'll have links down below. I'm sorry, guys. I am just all over the place in this video. But you guys know I always am. All right, let's see what colors hubby put in this uh, bag for us. <laughs> okay, let's. Hopefully, I can get this right. Now, the first color. Now, let's see. Now, do I want to pull out what applique? Let's see. Let's pull out the applique first. Let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, what's the first? What is the applique going to be on this next square that we're making? I mean, move it around in there and hopefully none of them will fall out. Is that just one? All right, here we go, guys. <laughs> it's going to be, oh my, <laughs> it's going to be an elf's hat. <laughs> so what I'm going to plan, what I'm planning on doing is making the whole elf head, but the hat is going to be done. Let's see how it's going to be done. It's going to be done. Let me get my other cup. I might have should have put the, I might have should have pulled the color of the yarn out first, but we'll see. It ain't going to matter. It's all the same. All right. Is it going to be, make sure I don't pull that other one out. Is it going to be variegated or solid, guys? <laughs> Good. It's going to be variegated. <laughs> so, let's see what colors he's put in here for that hat. Let's see which one I'll pull out first. All right, what color do we have in there first, guys? <laughs> that elf's hat is going to be a variegated color. <laughs> oh, that is going to be so cool. So cool. 
Okay. Now, the background, let's see what color it's going to be. I got to keep this straight now. <laughs> the background color is going to be, oh, it's going to be pink. <laughs> oh, that's going to be too funny. So we're going to have an elf's hat with a variegated, an elf's head with a variegated hat in a pink background. That is going to be super cute. <laughs> can't wait to get started. Oh, my. Oh, I can't wait to get started. So I got to get started on that tonight. So that's how we're going to do that. And so I'm so excited to do this again, Ashley. <laughs> and I can't wait to see what you're going to be making. Oh, I'm so excited. And if you guys don't know who Ashley is, y'all go check her out. I'll put a link down below to her channel where you can go uh, look at her beautiful blanket that she's going to be what she's going to be working on. <laughs> I'm so excited. It is. It's fun. And we, uh, and actually she also mentioned, she came up with her and her hubby were talking and they came up with this name. Why we haven't even, why we haven't even thought of it before. Cause she thought of it. Um, what did she, how did she call that? The uh, crochet, let's see. Cut, no country gal, Christmas cow. Yeah. Country gal, kiss Christmas cow. <laughs> I like that. I think it's super cute because we did that country gal kitchen cow and I keep wanting to say that all the time. But yeah, I thought that was a cool thing. So who knows? I might, we might end up putting that in the title too. So at least you'll know what it is. <laughs> but anyway, I just, I think that is so cute and I can't wait to get going. But anyway, so fun. I'm sorry my video was so long, but I had a lot to show and I had a lot to say. But anyway, I'm, I'll try not to make my next one so long. <laughs> Hey, it's it's vlogmas. Why not? You can always watch a little bit now and watch a little bit later if you wanted to. But anyway, I'm going to hop off here before my phone shuts me off. I think this is the longest video I've ever made, guys. So that's my that's a record for me right there. <laughs> but anyway, I'll have links to everything down below. And you guys go check out my friend Ashley and see what she's going to be up to. I can't wait to see. I already know. <laughs> Unless she changed her mind. <laughs> But anyway, I hope you guys all have a wonderful, blessed day, and I will be tending you guys real soon. <laughs> oh, see there? I about knocked you guys over. <laughs>